A cylinder is similar to a prism in that it has two bases that are congruent and parallel, except the bases of a cylinder are circles. So these are, this is a base of our cylinder, and then there's one down there. Um, and this distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle is the radius of the circle. So this is also a base. So the bases are circles, so that means your lateral surface area is rounded. It's that curved, rounded part of the cylinder. So the height is what connects your two bases. So this is the height. It goes from the center of the top base to the center of the bottom base. That's the height, and it's perpendicular to your two bases. Well, this is also the height. It's the same distance. It's like your lateral edge. Um, so if you think about, if you were to take a cylinder and unroll that lateral part, if you were gonna like flatten it out, watch what happens when we unroll this cylinder. We take that lateral part, Lay it flat. Oh my gosh, it's a rectangle. If we take a rectangle and roll it up, it becomes a cylinder. It, it connects, the two ends of, those, of that rectangle connect. So your lateral surface area, that blue part of your cylinder, the lateral surface area is actually a rectangle. So this distance right here is the length of the rectangle and this is the width of the rectangle. Well, this distance is going to wrap completely around that circular base. So if you were to take a piece of string and measure it all the way around the edge of that circle, then lay it flat, it would be this length, this distance of this re uh, rectangle right here. So this length of this rectangle is the same as the circumference of that circular base. So your lateral surface area is the circumference of the base, so 2 pi r, and then you just multiply it by the height of your cylinder. So if you think about like your lateral surface area is this rectangle, this is 2 pi r, and then your height is h. So then that's your lateral surface area. So then your total surface area is you just take that lateral surface area and then you're gonna add the two bases. So you're gonna take your lateral, two pi r h, and then you're gonna add your two bases, two, and then the area of the base of a circle, or the area of a circle, because the bases are circles, is just pi r squared. So you have two pi r h, that's your lateral surface area, and then you're gonna add two pi r squared because pi r squared is the area of the two bases. So, find the lateral and total surface area of this cylinder. Our lateral surface area is 2 pi, and then the radius, um, this is the diameter. The diameter of that circle is 8, so the radius is 4, so 2 pi r, and then your height is what connects your two bases, 20. Let's leave it in terms of pi. So, 2 times 4 is 8, times 20 is 160 pi centimeters squared. And then your total surface area, you're just going to take your lateral surface area and then add the two bases, 2 pi r squared, so that's 16 times 2 is 32, 160 plus 32 is 192 pi centimeters squared.